I'm about to leave. I'm about to move on. I'm about to fly the nest. In the book that is my life, I'm about to start a completely new chapter, or even a completely new book. Introspection seems to be the natural direction in which I am gravitated towards. And I can't help but think about all the people and situations that have turned me into the dingus I am today. Me, I'm that dingus. <laughs> I'm Zane Kalani Koljan, and I'm about to graduate high school. Yeah. But before we dive into the deepest thoughts and introspections of this daydreaming insomniac, let's hear a message from our sponsor. Hi, have you ever been a lawyer? Have you ever needed a lawyer? I'm one of those. My name's Zane Lodigree, and let me tell you a little something about the law. The law will divorce you because she says that she's sick and tired of you putting your law career above the family so that your kids can look at the TV and say, hey, that's my dad, I think he's really cool. Fancy schmancy lawyer boyfriend. Take me back, Melissa, I've changed. So contact me, Zane Lodigree, for any of your law-related needs at Zane Lodigree's Legal Lawyer Let's Elude Lockup Legislation LLC Law Firm. Thank you. Have a very nice day. Still love you, Melissa. High school. 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 How's it going? High school. High school. <laughs> High school. When I think back to who I was freshman year, not only was I a foot shorter, but I was more than a foot dumber. Here are some of the things. I don't know why I'm pointing there. What's over there? Maybe it's a trap. It's a trap. Oh no. Here are some things that I learned in my four years of the best worst part of your life. High school. High school. I don't know why I point, pointed at you now. Are you the trap? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, number one, life is what you make it. I know that sounds like your average coming of age, angsty teen, Sundance, ladybird hoo-ha, but it's true. I found life to be, I, I, wanna, I wanna come up with like an original quirky metaphor. Oh, life, life is like a box of chocolates. Cause no one ever has original ideas anymore. Bruh. No, life is like watching a bird float through the ebbs and flows of the wind. I don't, I don't freaking know. I'm struggling here. Can you help me out? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Cool, thank you. Uh, yeah. My main point is this. Whatever kind of curveball, sports metaphor, go team, life throws at you, there's always room for light. No matter how hard a situation seems, I believe that there is always some sort of good that can come from it if you're willing to look. Number two, being tall also has its ups and downs. You can always find someone in a crowd. You feel super good when you reach something that's up tall and you give it to an old lady. Oh, and airplanes kind of suck. School dances are super awkward because you're just like this bobbing head in a sea of teenagers. Oh, and don't even get me started on bathtubs. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, jazz. Number five, treat your life like a sitcom, not a drama. Hey Zane. Oh, hey Zane. Whoa, I slipped. Hi Zane, hi Zane. I can't believe it, my girlfriend broke up with me. Oh, the one with the lazy eye or the one that always has bad breath? No, no, Sarah, we like dated forever and she ended it on Snapchat. Oh, oh Sarah, the one that has a lazy eye and bad breath. <laughs> Didn't you guys date for like two weeks? Well, yeah, but we were in love. Oh, don't be so dramatic. <laughs> See, if you go through life looking for things to be upset about, you're gonna find them. But I don't know, I've found that it's better to move past things instead of dwelling on them. Not racing over them, but processing them in a healthy way and then moving forward. One step at a time, baby. I can tap dance. Number 10. Never trust a redhead, a bald man, or the gluten-free. I'm a puppet. Me too. Me three. I mean, we all are. What do you mean? I mean, in a world where privacy is a delicacy and free thought is unheard of, we're all puppets. It's easy to become a puppet. 
controlled by public opinion and the things that are outwardly perceived as normal. Like talking to puppets. <laughs> Great. Yeah, puppets. Uh, don't be a puppet. No offense, guys. None taken. From now on, I'm gonna be my own person. That's the spirit. Whee! Yeah, me too. I'm not gonna let society control me or whatever. Great metaphor, Zane. You're so smart and also handsome. Ah, oh, thanks, Jerome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zane Muscles, and I'm ready to whip you into shape. Just follow my 10-step program, and you, yes you, can look like me, Zane Muscles. Step one, start eating right. You gotta eat good to look good and feel good, like me, Zane Muscles. Only eat things that are protein, like meats, nuts, and salads. Step two, push-ups. With just 10 easy steps, you, yes, I'm still talking to you, can look just like me, Zane Muscles, with my 10-step program. Hey, Future Zane. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're still sexy and cool and funny, like me. And maybe by now you can finally do a handstand. What have you been up to lately? I bet you've made some cool stuff since we last spoke. Have you made it to Sundance yet? Have you won your first Oscar yet? How many songs do you have out on Spotify now? Do you still wear Paul McCartney around your neck? What about that MF Doom ring? How's mom? Have you told her how much you love her lately? Did you meet Britney Spears yet? Lost my spot. Have things gotten better? Are you able to get up every day and get everything done that you want to? As I'm sure you remember, the past year has been difficult as I've battled against the TV static, that feeling of nothingness and instability that crashes over you and waves that come out of nowhere. I feel that things have been better for the first time in a while, and I've finally felt myself. I hope and pray that things have continued to get better and that you've been able to help people that are going through similar difficulties. As you know, that has always been my light at the end of the tunnel. I want to overcome and defeat the TV static so that I can aid others in overcoming their own versions of TV static or similar afflictions through my art and through my relationships. If you haven't done that yet, then I suggest you get your butt moving. It's why we were put on this earth, I think. I don't know. Catch you on the flippity flip. Cordially, Zane Kalani Colgen. You have just seen what it's like to live inside my brain. There were moments of seriousness and introspection surrounded by a constant ocean of chaos. We saw fun things with some meaning, fun things with absolutely no meaning, and whatever that was. All interrupted by moments of TV static. The point is that life is full of the meaningful and the meaningless. The horse's name was Friday. Not everything has to make sense. To me, this was an exploration of my own thoughts and creativity, creating just for the sake of expression. Oh, uh, wait, I have an idea. Wait. I think I can make my head look like it's spinning. Get it like a freeze frame of this. Ah! Wait, I need to spin better. Ah! Does it look like I, my head is spinning? Does it look real? Anyways, back to what I was saying. What was I saying? Creating just for the sake of expression. So like, if the end product is dope, then that's cool, you're probably watching this. Uh, if not, then you'd never know. I guess it's time to start the new chapter. Remember to brush your teeth. Okay, goodbye. Okay, okay, wait, wait, okay, but what if...